Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Math Lab. Today, we are taking a look at Google Sheets and how to highlight based on a certain date. Now, you might want to do this if you're a small business and you're wanting to see when payments are coming up or overdue, or maybe you work at a library or even per perhaps a school library and want to see which books are now overdue. So let's get into it. So I have my spreadsheet here set up with the customer, the date of work, and when the payment is due. Now the date of work, if, if you're uh, looking for books to be checked out or something like that for a library or school library, then maybe the payment due is, I don't know, a month later. So let's say it's the same situation here. So we want 30 days in the future. So let's say that the uh, payment due will be equal to 30 days plus the date due. Oh, sorry, the date of work that happened. So we see here, 30 days later, we are now due, and we can copy this down. Now, if you have a lot of lines, or perhaps you have, uh, you're going to be adding lines, we can change this to make it a little bit more efficient. So we'll start off with an array formula, and we'll state that if B2 to B, that's the entire B column, is equal to nothing, then we'll return blank. Otherwise, we'll use the formula 30 plus B2, that's 30 days after B2, uh, making sure that we do do the entire column from B2 all the way down to B. And we press enter on that and we get a problem. Because I need to spell array formula correctly. Formula. There we go. And you can see there is the list of dates. And if we were to add one more person on the bottom, let's say that Alex Santor is going to be getting some work done, then the date of work was lots today. Today is the 15th of October. And that automatically pops up. Now you'll see that that, popped up, that date that popped up is actually a number. So to fix that, all we need to do is click on one of these dates that we do see here, click this format, and then click the entire C. Actually, I'm gonna click both B and C columns. And that will fix both of these all the way down. Just gonna rebold those top titles. So there we have it. Uh, so this time, if we put in another date, if, well, let's go 14th of 10th then that automatically populates with the correct date that is due. So our next step is to work out which of these dates is now overdue. Now, because I am in New Zealand and a lot of you are not, I'm just gonna change these dates here to a different format um, so that we don't get too confused. Let's go to more formats, more date and actually I'm gonna go custom number format because it's uh, easier for me to work with. Um, and instead of doing day then month, let's do like that. So we have the date and then the month as a word and then the year, just so that we don't get mixed up here uh, and we know what each of us is talking about. So we do have 7th of September. Some of you might've been thinking that was July 9th, but we now have the days set up so we don't get that conf confusion. Next step is to work out which of these is actually overdue. So let's go to format and then conditional formatting. Conditional formatting will set up a conditional formatting rules just behind my head. So I'm going to hide my head and uh, we can see now we have our conditional format pane. So first thing, we're going to go to the format rules. We're going to change this right down the bottom to custom formula is. We start with an equal sign. C2 is less than today. And that's pretty much it. Now we want to say that this is now expired or an expiration date. So we want to say, hey, this is a warning. So let's change that to red. Now we take a look, 7th of September is indeed uh, before today. So this is now working. But we want this for the entire column. So all we need to do is change the C2 to C2 to C. And that should give us all of the uh, ones that are overdue. 22nd of September, that's overdue. 11th of October, 14th of October, that was yesterday. 16th of October is actually tomorrow, so that one is not overdue. So that one's uh, not highlighted red. Now, a few things that we can uh, change to this. Maybe we want to see this entire line lit up if it's overdue. So the easy way to do that is change our apply to range from C2 to C to A2 to C. And then down in our formula bar, we're going to change the C2 to a dollar sign next to the C. And that just puts a, a lock on this date in column C. 
And the last thing is these red cells down the bottom. Now, maybe you don't want all of those red cells, so we can get rid of those by typing in an AND formula. Now, the AND formula will be just the same as before we have C2 is less than today. But also, we want to know if there is anything in these cells. So we're going to look in cell C2. There's this one up here. And we're going to say C2 is not blank. And that automatically fixes all of the red cells down the bottom. We can click done. And there we have highlighted the overdue payments. So that's how we set up our conditional formatting based on a date. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below and feel free to share what projects you have come up with where this has been helpful. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.